So a lot of the students who will be watching this, um, they are coming from all different time zones across the, the globe, They're probably working on films in their own, um, in their own bedrooms maybe even. Uh, what advice would you give to an up-and-coming filmmaker? Um, I would, the advice I would give any filmmaker through person, and this is through my personal experience, is to find out what it is that you love doing, because this, it, this should be fun, making films. And that's not to say it shouldn't be difficult, or it shouldn't be challenging to, to you and the people you're working with, but it should, but it needs to be fun. And I don't mean like, you know, you're just always like having an amazing time and laughing and everything, but fun as in you've got to be energized by it. You've got to be excited about it. You've got to go to bed on Sunday night excited about getting up on, on Monday morning to, to start work because filmmaking is really difficult. It's not a life or death occupation, but it's tough and it takes a long, it takes a long time and that makes demands on you physically, mentally, emotionally. So unless you're a hundred percent when you start the process, you won't get to the end of it, I don't think, because it will take so much out of you. You've got to be absolute prime condition at the beginning and a lot of that is being enthusiastic because things will go wrong you'll have logistical problems you'll have financial problems you'll have a deadline that somebody that suddenly becomes a problem you'll have equipment failure you'll have collaborator failure you'll have weather failure you'll have personal failure all of these things will happen you don't know which ones will happen yet but a a cocktail of those things will go wrong during the shoot. In order to get through all of that, you need to be absolutely focused and driven at that first moment when you start. And, and so people, people often think that I'm going to say, oh, you should be shooting film, you know, pick up a film camera, that, you know, because film cameras are the best cameras to shoot on. Film stock is the best medium to use. Processing your own footage is the best way to make a film. Not recording location dialogue is the best way to work. Posting everything, doing your own music at the end of it, that's all the best way to make a film, but only for me. And that's the thing that makes me excited on a Sunday night to get up on Monday morning. Other people have got to find out what theirs is. You know, and if that's shooting with a huge team and being a conventional, for example, director and working with a DOP and you don't go anywhere near the camera and you don't have anything to do with the sound department or production design, you're solely a director. If that's what really fires you up, then that's what you should be doing. You shouldn't be fitting yourself into somebody else's plan. If the way that you want to make films is on an iPhone and you never collaborate with anybody and that's the thing that excites you, then that's what you should do. Really?